Howdy folks, Podium52, hope you are well. Well, I finally made the decision that I'm gonna change out my stock windshield on my Harley Davidson Touring Model. This happens to be a ultra limited 2018 with a 10 and a half inch clear windshield. And I am gonna move over to Clockworks. In today's video, I am going to do a review of their flare windshield. They come in different sizes, different colors. I'm gonna show you three of them on the bike, on the road. Let's go. Alrighty folks, we are out on the first ride and I have on my 10 and a half inch stock windshield that came on my Harley Davidson 2018 Ultra Limited. First, I want to start off by saying a thank you to Mikkel and Brian from Clockworks that worked with me to uh, be able to review these um, uh, windshields and uh, appreciate you supporting the channel. And I will tell you that they in no way told me what to say, positive, negative, the good, the bad, none of that. Um, and that's because they have a quality product, so they don't need to do that. Plus, you know me anyway. So so let's start by saying, what the heck, dude? Why are you changing the windshield, right? Um, and, and I'll tell you, I, so I've had this on for just about two years now. And never really thought that much about it uh, since I had it on. Um, other than it's clear and maybe not the most stylish thing in the world. Um, I really didn't think I had that big of a problem with it, right? But recently, and I'm going on a couple long trips, I feel like at high speeds, that I get a little bit of that buffeting on my, um, on my helmet. And uh, I was starting to wonder, is, hey, is that just the normal stuff? You know, where's that wind hit me? Because um, it really hasn't been bothering me for that long. So do I have it right? Do I not have it right? So... So I decided that, yeah, hey, maybe I need to think about changing out the windshield. And a couple different windshields out there, and I know everybody has different styles and different likes, what they have on their bike, but um, I was impressed with the research that went into uh, the Clockworks uh, Flare and uh, decided that uh, you know, I wanted to, to try it out and work with them. So, so that is the, the why. Um, and when I think about it, it's like, okay, what are the most important things when you think about a windshield, right? Um, and to me, there's three that matter to me. Number one is, it's got to look a little stylish, right? Who's kidding who? We want our bikes to look good. And, hey, I think the, the stock windshield looks fine. Um, do I look at it and go, oh, man, that's the coolest part of the bike? Nah, I don't. Um, so, number one is, I think it's got to look good. Number two is it's got to work. I mean, the, the reason I'm out here uh, is because I was a little bit concerned about, you know, hey, am I, am I getting the best I can uh, out of this windshield? So it, it's got to work. You know, I, I will tell you that that's, to me, the most important thing. And then the third thing, which may be different for me than most people, is I do do motovlogs. I am on the bike trips, you know, all that stuff, and I need to be able to make sure that I got some good camera views, right? Clear windshield makes that kind of easy, because at this point, you don't know necessarily where my eyes are at, right? So you can't tell if I'm looking through it or not, um, but let's talk about this one. So my GoPro, GoPro 7, is mounted just above my chin, but how I have it set up is... It is right about my nose. The tip of my nose is the top of the GoPro, right? So it is probably, I think, in my video showing that it's kind of right here on the edge, maybe a little bit higher, right? My eyes, you know, from my nose to my eyes, or a couple inches, are right here. And that's what I worried about, which is, hey, that gap there seems to be where I'm getting, I think, some wind, and I will tell you now, it's a little chilly day here in Michigan. Uh, it's 52, 53, something like that. And I am wearing a t-shirt, long sleeve shirt, and a leather. And I can feel, uh, I can feel the wind on my arms. Right about the crevice, right in here, uh, the crease in your arm there. I can definitely feel it. Um, so I'm, I'm, it makes me think, Is it, again, is there something better? So... Um, 
I do uh, not dislike this windshield, but wanted to try something else and uh, see how it looked and see how if it helped me, how, how much it would help me as I'm getting ready to put on three or 4,000 miles on a couple trips here over the next month and a half. So let's go back to the Bodie 52 garage and get another windshield on. Alrighty folks, we are back out and I now have on the eight and a half inch dark smoke clockworks windshield. And I gotta tell you what, it is super cool looking, but before I get talking about that and we get out up to speed here, two things. One is, I, and I forgot to mention that I am actually six foot two, six foot three. I like to say 6'3", but it's probably 6'2". And uh, as, as you measure these windshields, it is critically important to do that and do it correctly. First of all, I am going to link a video on how to measure for this specific clock, uh, or all clockworks windshields. Uh, manufacturers do it a little bit different way. Uh, the Harley Davidson one is measured from uh, the center of the windshield to the center of the middle fairing bolt that holds it on. Uh, and Clockworks, it's from the top of the windshield to the top of where it goes into the fairing. And it's a half inch difference, um, but we all know that matters. So, um, this is the eight and a half inch dark smoke. And uh, I, I got to tell you what. Um, so far, man, I just love the look of this thing. I may not care if it blows me all around. I think this is just an amazing look. Um, but let me tell you about it. And I'm going to tell you kind of a little bit of uh, um, what I think sticks out in each windshield. Uh, or in all, I should say, of the Clockworks windshields when it comes to the flare. But I'm going to specifically talk about this one because this one is two inches shorter than my stock windshield. Now... Um, it's it's really an inch and a half again because of how you measure it. Again, I'm six foot two, and and one of the things about it, and you know, the name, the flare, and you can't see it from where I'm at. You can see it better from the side, but the top of this windshield, starting about two inches down, flares up. Now, I will tell you, Brian, the owner, does a much better job in explaining that, and I'll I'll hack it up, but I'm going to try it. And first of all, one of the reasons that I, I like this company is just the research before he uh, designed and, you know, uh, patented this thing to where it's his was, you know, um, going out and, and putting these, these things through the test in wind tunnels. I, I believe he mentioned that his wife did some racing. So just some major research. And, and basically... Um, the, the, the flat windshields, when the air goes up and over, it recirculates in, uh, in the cockpit, if you will. And you can sometimes feel that when you're riding, uh, because you will get, um, you know, your glasses moving up and down. I'm closing the windshield because it's freezing out. It's just not freezing out, but it's a little chilly. Um, and the, this windshield actually takes it up and over you. So the air now here is really what Brian calls clean air, right? Um, so if the 10 and a half inch windshield stock on my bike is correct, well, we know it's correct, and this is an eight and a half inch, then that two inch rise should mean I should have about the same wind coming at me than I did on my stock. So uh, let's check it out. It really is. Uh, it really is different. Um, you know, the the first thing I notice on this is one. I am looking above the windshield more than I was on my stock. So you're thinking, okay, then you're going to get more wind at you. But it really doesn't feel that way. Um, I will tell you, I can tell difference, and I'll, I'll talk about it in the next, uh, with the next windshield here, but this area right here is called a, a hip, and the idea is that it's supposed to take that air around you, and, and also some downforce on the front of the bike. Again, I'll link that video so you can find exactly out why that is. But I'll tell you what, it feels really good. I 
secretly told my wife, I'm like, man, I hope this is the one because this thing is cool looking. <laughs> is that great? So I hope it's really tall enough and uh, and, and works. But um, again, hey, by the way, go, going back to measuring real quick, you got to get that right. And um, so I will tell you how my wife and I measured for me was I sat on the bike in my normal, what I thought was my normal position. And then I took a level. And I took it at the tip of my nose, and I took it straight out. And uh, Mrs. Bodine made sure that it was level, and then she measured from the front of that fairing all the way up to the level position. And um, um, and that's how ultimately we, me- we measure. Now, remember, it matters how you sit in the seat. It's going to matter over time as you ride. I think we may find that in the 11 and a half when I put that on the bike, right? Because I think that'll be above my eye le- or at my eye level. Because you definitely want to look over the windshield. Now, the, these dark smokes, um, it is distorted, meaning that if that was in your eye level, that would be a problem because it. While well, you can still see the road and you could see a car or an animal, hopefully they're never going to be that close to you. You can. It is distorted, right? Right now, it doesn't matter to me because it's so, uh, to me, shorter than I'm used to, and it's right in front of the bike. So I don't feel like I have any concern about that. But So number one, the look. I love it. The three most important things to me. Number one is the look. I love it. Number two is I don't feel it, it feels just as good. Actually, it feels better because the air on the side is going outside of my arms. Remember when I did the stock, I told you that the uh, um, that crevice in my... Probably shouldn't be pointing at stuff, so I'm taking a turn, should I? Uh, the, right here in my arm where I was feeling it, I do not feel that now. So it must be going around me somehow, right? Um, so number two is, how does it perform? And right now, man, it... This is nice. And then number three is, hey, can I continue doing videos without this, without it distorting uh, what you guys are, are looking at? And I'm going to assume since the, um, that it's here and my GoPro is here that you're probably going to be seeing fine. Uh, if you'll leave a comment in there, I would appreciate that. But like I'm going to do with every one, what do you guys think of... Obviously, you can't tell how it feels to me. You're going to trust me on that one. But how does it feel or how does it look to you on the camera? And this thing's pretty cool looking, isn't it? All right, let's go back and uh, let's put the 10 and a half inch windshield on that is tinted. By the way, they have four. A clear, a tinted, this dark smoke, and then they got one that's called blacked out, right? Uh, if you're a shorter rider, you, it's not going to work for you. Obviously, blacked out is blacked out, right? So there's those four. This is the dark smoke. The 10.5 I'm going to put on here uh, when I get back to the house will be the tinted. Alrighty, folks. I am out again. This time, I have the flare 10.5 inch tinted windshield on. Again, going to uh, make sure that we're hitting the same road. Oh, and before I forget, I even though I don't use it really that much, um, I have that three pouch, window pouch thing, and it does fit on each one of these windshields. Um, actually, I didn't try it on the eight and a half, but I believe it still works. You can tell how they made this here to where it will actually go in there, and I may end up putting mine on now, as a matter of fact. But uh, let's see how this one feels. I can tell a difference already that the, the hip is really pushing it out even more than the 8.5 inch, which I guess makes some sense. Um, and, and again, I'm going to leave a couple links uh, from getclock.com, which is uh, um, their site, and, and a couple of YouTube uh, videos from Brian the owner, and, and Mikel, who's the national sales manager, um, just to give you some additional benefits that you'll see in these in these videos because there's something to do with the force of the bike is going down because of these hips. Um, 
And again, they'll explain a lot better than I. But, um, wow. <laughs> okay. I, I thought I was just going to be in love with the, uh, the eight and a half, and that was the winner. Um, but I can tell a difference in this one. There is just, there's just no doubt. And, and what kind of got me is after I went off camera, uh, a little bit ago, as I was going back to my place, um, and I think it was Mikel that mentioned on a video, he goes, if you really want to tell, you know, I kind of opened up my helmet, uh, on the eight and a half and I went down like this and sure enough, lost a lot of that wind. So I'm like, okay, so definitely I know in the eight and a half, it's not going to work. And that makes sense. Right, it's gonna because I thought my ten and a half was too short, and with the two inch lift, uh, even with that, eight and a half still not enough, right? So eight and a half that would have been, you know, ten and a half, eleven. So that makes sense because I only had to duck down a little bit, but I feel none of that with this windshield. Um, one thing I did not know was even the tinted one is a little bit uh, has that little distortion to it. So again, you need to make sure that you're seeing above the windshield. But I can still see in front of me fine. Um, and again, they have a clear one, which I'm sure takes all of that out. Um, but I like the look of this one as well. I do like the dark smoke. I'm not going to kid you. Uh, but this tinted one is nice as well. But I got to tell you what, it is so important to get the right size windshield. Because this, it, this one's actually even that much better than the eight and a half i mean same design same good quality stuff but you just got to get it right um because this is a much bigger difference i can see that my head is not that far above but yet if i hit a bump i'm not you know going to come down to the top of the windshield hopefully the video comes out strong so that doesn't impact the videos but from a look perspective it's real good from a, uh, how does it work? It's excellent. Um, and if I just compare this to my stock windshield, I can really tell the difference, folks. It's amazing. So it, when you think about it, it's the same size windshield. But because of that flare and because of these hips, it is without a doubt blowing the wind around me and over me. There, there's just no doubt about that. And um, Brian said it in one of his videos, and I'm going to test it on my way back after I turn off. He also said because of, you know, that non-circulating air that you would normally get, and he, he uses the word clean air, which which I kind of get now, that you're supposed to be able to um, hear your radio even better. Just remember, if you order it direct with Clockworks, or you get it from somewhere else, um, and you don't aren't doing the demo, just make sure that you got the measurements right, because everybody has different return policies, right? Think about it. They're not going to let you throw a brand new windshield on your bike, right? And uh, go out and ride around with it. Potentially get it kind of crappy, repackage it up, send it back, and not charge anything. I mean, come on. That's just not, not going to happen. So make sure that you get that right and that you understand the, um, the return policy of where you get it. But they definitely have the, the dealer network everywhere. And I get it. But I'll tell you what, this 10 and a half tinted is really nice. I think this is probably going to be the winner. But let's go back and let's try one more, which is an 11 and a half um, dark smoke and see if that works. Uh, that way we got a really good comparison of all three for, again, a six foot two rider. Alrighty, folks, we are back out for the third look at different clockworks windshields and this happens to be the 11 and a half dark smoke windshield and um two things before i forget N number one is don't forget your passenger um you know mrs bodine rides on the back of the bike with me uh because of how my seat is she does not sit that much higher than me so she has a lot of wind blockage from me anyway, so it's not as bad for her. But just remember uh, the wind for your passenger as well. 
And the next thing, which I didn't realize until I was on my way back from the uh, ten and a half inch ride uh, of that windshield, the tinted one. And I heard this on some of the YouTube stuff on uh, on the Clockwork site, and I, well, I I didn't quite understand it, but now I do. The radio and the music is so much louder. It is significantly different. I was like, all right, come on. I'm re- listening to it. I'm like, no, that can't be. But it must be how the design is. That's, Or, or maybe it's because you don't have that wind in here anymore. It is significantly different. And, uh, man, that is another extra bonus. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited as heck about that. Um, and that was at 60 miles an hour, right? So, so I am out with this one doing 60 as well. And I will tell you, this thing is mammoth. I don't know if you can tell, but it's 11 and a half inches. And it's, it's a big boy. I can tell you Mrs. Dean, Mrs. Bodine won't be getting any, uh, any wind to her. As a matter of fact, this thing's probably enough wind to, to help the people behind me. Because it is big. Now, I will tell you what. It's doing all the stuff that uh, these windshields do, right? I'm not getting nothing touching my head. Um, I'm not getting anything touching the side of my arms. Um, it is full on protection. Now, I can already tell with the tinted, the dark smoke, that this windshield will not be good for boat vlogging. All right? I can tell that before I even uh, run the video. But uh, the other thing is, is my eye line is just over the windshield here. So if I happen to scratch down or hit a bump, I get a little bit of that right in my eye line, and um, and to me that's that's probably not going to work. Now, if I sit up in a perfect posture like I should all the time, hey, it's great. But to me, this one's just a little, little too uh, too big, which is the perfect reason. And we've talked about this to measure right and to go to a dealer like uh, any Harley dealer or anywhere else that. Uh, has the Clockworks windshields, and um, and do a demo on them for sure, right? Because you will be able to tell. Um, to me, there's no doubt which of the three that I want, but um, I am super impressed. Folks that follow my channel know I won't say that unless I mean it. Um, these are not the cheapest by far, but they're really not that expensive. Uh, especially for the quality that you get, it, it, it's probably going to be your last windshield. I know it's going to be mine. So I would love to hear your feedback. Is it number one, two, or three for Bodine 52? What do you guys think? Tell me what you like, um, what you're concerned about, any questions you may have. I'll be glad to answer them. Again, a big thanks to uh, to Mikel at, at Clockworks for for working with me on this. You know, one thing I like about them, and, and by the way, they, you check out their site. I'll link it. They got a lot of products, cleaning products. They got merchandise. They put windshields on all different types of manufacturers. It's just not Harley. They do a lot of other stuff. Um, check check them out. But, you know, uh, one thing I like about Mikel and, and Brian is these guys ride, right? They want to do and make something, obviously, that's a business for them, but that is good for all of us. And for that, I appreciate it. So uh, I would like to thank everybody that normally pops in my channel. It's always great to have you as a subscriber. Thank you for being here and and watching this. If you're new to the channel, um, I do moto vlogs. I do travel videos. I do gear reviews, product reviews that I believe in, like this one, as well as riding with friends, destination stuff with my wife and uh Love to have you join the join the family. If you hit that subscribe button, that would be super. If not, I totally understand. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it was helpful for you. If you liked it, hit the like button and uh, check out Clockworks. Uh, they have a new fan in me. This is Bodine 52. Be safe on and off the motorcycle. Be vigilant. Check on a friend. We'll see you soon, folks. Bye bye.